Audio Builders TV presents What Did My Gig Bag? This multi-part series presented by Kevin Thurber will cover all of the equipment he brings with him as an A1. Kevin is a freelance A1 and the full-time sound supervisor at the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Audio Builders TV is presented by the students of Concord Carlisle High School with help from Colonial Sound and CCTV. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and sign up for our mailing list at audiobuildersworkshop.com. <laughs> Audio Builders. Audio Builders Workshop is a work group for the Boston chapter of the Audio Engineering Society. Hi, I'm Kevin Therber. I'm a freelance audio engineer and sound designer. And today I'm with Audio Builders TV to take a look at what's in my gig bag. First of all, let's take a look at the Whirlwind Cubox. It's basically an all-in-one audio tester. It can send signal, it can receive signal, it can detect phantom power, it can operate as a comm cue box. Uh, it has pretty much all of the adapters you need to get in and out of any standard audio system, basically being XLR and quarter inch. Uh, it can activate as a tone generator. Uh, it's just got so many great features for testing any kind of audio circuit. And it runs off of a single 9 volt battery, so you've probably got one of those lying around. Uh, with every cue box, I always like to have a short XLR jumper with it. And this XLR jumper has Neutrik ConvertCon connectors on it. So basically, even though the cue box has male and female connectors, I always have one more XLR adapter that can convert any way in any gender. So I don't have to worry about connecting anything to the cue box or anything else, really. So if I have a short uh, cable, I may as well make it an adapter. So first of all, we're going to look at the cue box functioning as a receiver. So on the top here, you have this volume rocker, which will turn on. Any signal you send into the cue box will come out of the speaker that's built into the back. So say you're testing a microphone, say you're testing a line level signal, you can just plug it into the cue box and you're away. Uh, another great feature of the cue box is you can send a signal. It has a mic built into it, but it also has a tone generator. Uh, this switch here basically connects these two XLR connectors or splits them. And right here is a switch that determines which pin of the XLR connector you're monitoring. So let's go to connect and pretend we have tone coming into the box. So, there, now you can probably hear that tone coming through. And you actually have three selectable levels of volume for the tone. So you have minus 20, minus 4, and minus 50. So you can test all sorts of different input lines. Or you can use the internal mic. The great thing about it is that if it's powered off, you can take a look here and read voltage on pins 2 and 3. So you can test for phantom power, or you can test for comm line voltage. And if you have comm connected and this turned on, it activates as a squawk box. You can hear people talking over clear comm or telex systems. So overall, this is a wonderful device to have with you, and something that I try not to ever leave the house without if I'm headed to a gig. Uh, you also have a headphone jack here if you don't want to use the internal speaker. And you have a quarter inch adapter here to get in and out of other systems. So overall, this system has helped me troubleshoot things faster than ever. I don't have to worry about routing things through my mixer. I don't have to worry about routing things to my speakers just to be able to hear them. And this box is a way of testing things that may have issues that may damage other audio equipment. So it's important to always have a system that's entirely separate from your current system to troubleshoot. I'm Kevin Therber with ABTV. Thanks for watching. This is What's in My Gig Bag, the Whirlwind Q-Box.